We have to find the Laplace transform of the sine of 2t times the cosine of 2t. So this looks tough, but we'll use an identity to make things easier. So recall that sine 2t is 2 sine t cosine t. Right, so write down the identity uh, that we'll use. And you'll notice here we have a 2t and here we have a 2t. So we need to get a 2t here, right? So let's put 2t's here. So if you have, this will be 2 sine 2t cosine 2t. But if we put 2t's here, we got to put a 2t here for the t. So 2 times 2t equals 4t. So we get sine of 4t is 2 sine 2t cosine 2t. Almost what we want, we don't have a 2 here, so we'll divide both sides by 2. And so we get, I'll write it over here, sine 2t cosine 2t is equal to 1 half sine 4t. So to recap, you just write down the identity that you think you're going to use, and you make it match what you have. Right, so we have sine 2t cosine 2t. We replaced all the t's with 2t's, right? This became a 2t, this became a 2t, here's the 2t, here's the 2t. Uh, and then here we have 2 2t, so 2 2t is 4t. And we divided everything by 2, and we got this. So now let's finish. Let's take the Laplace of 1 half sine 4t. You can pull the 1 half outside. So this is 1 half Laplace sine 4t. Okay, sine 4t. And recall the formula for the, the Laplace of sine kt. Right, the Laplace of sine kt. Uh, when it's the sine function, the k goes in the top. If it was cosine, you get an s up top. But it's not, it's the sine, so you get the k. And here you have s squared plus uh, k squared. Okay, so this will be 1 half. And k is 4. So you get 4 over s squared plus 4 squared. So the 1 half uh, cancels with the 4. So you get 2 here. So you get 2 over s squared. It's a funny looking s. Plus 16. And that's it.